Welcome to Beer Splaining. I am Beer Snob Esquire. And I'm Hoppy Hippo. So today, on this episode, we are going to be doing our Sour of the Week. Today's Sour of the Week we picked up fresh yesterday from the brewery. Uh, this is a Cucumber Jardine, which is a Belgian Golden Sour from Gilman Brewing. We picked this up in Pleasanton. Yes. That's their newest location. It's in downtown Pleasanton on Main Street. Fabulous location. It looks beautiful. Uh, no one's ever been inside because COVID. Because COVID. <laughs> so, you know, but they do have beer to go right now. Mm -hmm. um, they do That's have two other facilities. Selection. Yeah, it's pretty good, I thought. Yeah. They have two other facilities. They have one in Berkeley located on Gilman, Gilman Street. Gilman, has it. Just That's their primary. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's got a nice backspace. They do like mm -hmm. a Super Bowl party there. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, they also do food trucks. That's good. And they have another one in Daly City that I've never been to because the mm -hmm. truth is I just never go to Daly City. Mm. So that's not true. Didn't we go to Daly City for the festival? Which festival? When we did the 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 not a beer festival, the the Dickens Fair. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was but that's at the Cow Palace, right? Yeah, we went yeah. to some other spots there, but yeah, yeah, that's probably true. That's the only time I've been to Daly City since the Sharks left in like. 1990. Or yeah, I mean, I've been there to gamble on case. They have that casino. Oh, there's um, a casino there? Yeah. Um, gold. I can't remember the name of it. Whatever. Point is, cucumber jardine, jardine, Belgian golden sour. According to the description, it says, mm, drink within six months of canning for optimal flavor. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it does have a description. The cucumber, this cucumber jardine is a sour mash style with clean, crisp, sour profile. Golden and slightly hazy from one of our Belgian yeast strains. We'll leave this built beer unfiltered for a smooth body featuring a half ton of smashed cucumbers this beer is tart and refreshing Crap. with a crisp cucumber aroma and palate cleansing dry finish that I'm, is a lot of cucumbers i'm pretty sure i'm going to be comparing this one at least to some small extent versus um oh yeah pocket taco, absolutely right? that was as soon as i saw the cucumber yeah. sour i'm like it, it at least has to compare to we have something. Yeah, yeah. I'll you know, post the pocket taco the video pocket on Instagram taco. TV. Actually, I don't think I ever made it on there, and that's a great video. And that I is a great love video. That beer. So let's pour it. See what it looks like. Uh, it does have the unfiltered look. Let's see. Here you go, Shane. Your pour. Thank you. Um, I, it's slightly hazy. It looks unfiltered. I think that's a reasonable description of the color for sure. It's not a bad looking color. This is uh, probably what you want in a golden sour. Yeah, it's, that's that's a good unfiltered. Uh, you got more head on yours than I did. Uh, I bet I splashed it on purpose. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Well, sure you got to judge your head a little. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let me well move the move Belgians on. shouldn't be too heady. They shouldn't have a whole lot of foam and froth to them because the the usually they're a little bit higher in alcohol, and so the head doesn't last very long. But I can't. Oh, tell alcohol. Let me say alcohol. Uh, I can check. It's at six, which isn't. This is high. a. Where is it? It's, it's on the front. Oh yeah, six percent. So um, tell us what we we're supposed to expect from this, because I'm honestly not exactly sure what to expect from a Belgian golden sour. I'm, do you have any ideas? I, you know, I've had Belgian sours, which usually I'm not a big fan of. They tend to be very... Um, Belgian sours are identified by, by the specific type of yeast that they use, which is talked about, um, and then tend to be fermented differently. Usually it's a top fermentation instead of a bottom fermentation process, so it comes out a little bit different as well. Um, Sours can vary from really, really sour to just, I don't find Belgians to be big sours. I find them to be more on the sweeter side of the sours. Um, That's what I'm hoping for. Like when you talk about cucumber, I'm hoping for something fresh. You, we should not, definitely get a lot fresh with not the Not super yes. tart. Like I'm hoping it to be very drinkable. I, to me, it's a strange combination in that, that normally Belgians are almost an affront to the palate. They're very right. aggressive and the cucumber is the opposite of that so what the blending of those two is going to do i'm very interested to see so yeah we're I, generally speaking you and i are not huge belgian fans no, so no, not a big deal so we saw this sour we needed we wanted a sour for the week and this one sounds interesting enough so uh, let's, let's we were there let's sniff. sounds good the smells great you smell the cucumber the smell is great it does smell like cucumber oh, smell i like cucumber. cucumbers though just, yeah i know it cucumber know. water i had never had it before i was thought it was it's strange good. and then the first time i had cucumber water, i'm like this is really good it's good cucumbers like one of the three vegetables this guy will eat i love me some cucumbers yeah just don't cook them just don't it's, cook them. it's probably the healthiest cucumber you eat too the healthiest vegetable you eat too yeah i mean i eat celery and carrots too so you know, just not cook I mean, carrots i guess celery is basically water yeah, it's, it's not a ton of it's not, not a whole lot of um do they cook cucumber? i'm not sure i've had cooked cucumber well i've had them not I mean, I've had them cooked as far as like converted to pickles and then deep fried. Deep fried pickles, yeah. Which that's about the only way I'm going to eat it. I'll eat that. I don't know if you cook a cucumber, but right, I'm going to cleanse the palate know. with apparently a piece Ooh, of yeah. cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese this is, but we're going to eat one. It's very cheesy. I'm going to have a cracker too. Those of you who to watch, watch us eat cheese. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a palate cleansing cheese there. Almost too much. 
The crackers are good. So, oh, I am not getting a lot of Belgian in it. I'm not getting a whole lot of the sour smell. And maybe that's part I get of a little bit, but I think it's mostly cucumber. No, big cucumber. All right, well, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. I need a second drink. I need a second sipper before I get my thoughts. Honestly, this one's this is complex. I, I have think. my thoughts. I it's complex. I have my thoughts. And you know why do you go first? Because you might kill it. Then we'll end the video with me saying how great it is. So go ahead. I'm drinking pickle juice. Okay. Okay. That is not how I would have gone. I'm drinking pickle juice. Not not like really strong pickle juice, but just pickle juice. I get the cucumbers. I get the the almost dill sour flavor. Okay. It's um, and I'm and that's another. I love pickles. It's not as salty as pickle juice to me. No, it is not as salty as pickle juice. But that's just between the aroma I'm getting, the the flavor of the cucumbers, and that little bit of tartness. It, it tastes like a pickle juice. So I don't think that's an unfair description. Um, it's not what I would go with. I find I think pickle juice is a little more salty, obviously. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when I eat a pickle, I don't get a lot of cucumber flavor out of pickles personally. I know True. that I should, but like I don't. Yeah. Um, I don't get a pickle flavor. So I definitely just get a nice cucumber flavor. Mm -hmm. It's very tart right at the outset, but it's mm -hmm. not like offensively mm -hmm. tart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the description is very good. I think it is light. I it think is. it is crisp. It is. Uh, I think it's very drinkable. I, it, it's. I'm. It's not like I say when I say pickle juice. I'm not talking about like oh god ugh, pickle juice. It's. I'm getting like. When your amber makes pickles, yeah. they taste more oh, cucumbery. Yeah. Sure. Homemade pickles tend to taste more cucumbery than your store bought pickles, and that's just a little bit of what I get. And and I like pickles, so it's not terrible. It's just not something I think it's good. I would drink a lot of. I'm a big fan. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this. I would drink this again personally. Ooh. Um, I think it's a great beer for like. I'm a big fan of sour CCAs when I go to like Shane's house or if I'm at home, right? Because the truth is like. If I'm just chilling with Shane, like sometimes, like Shane and I'll pound out like a fucking six pack each, a full on pint while we're playing cards. And, yep. Yep. you know, I mean, we got a pretty good tolerance, but after a pint, like it's after six pints, like it's you're pretty much done. It's, it's a you don't feel all that great the next day. Nope. Um, you're what a little sloppy near the end, and perhaps most importantly, um, the, you drink in like 1200 calories. 1200 calories. Um, if you get a good sour, though, it's really, really impossible to just slam these, man. That's correct. Like, get a little more time drinking one. I, I agree. Well, yesterday, for example, I was out in the garage having a smoke. And it's like, I want a beer, man. So I poured myself a nice IPA. And, man, I must have killed that thing in, like, six minutes, man. Mm -hmm. It was just like, and I was like, oh. I, need I, killed, I killed that. Like, I, I don't, I shouldn't get another beer because I killed that way too quick, I think. So this is the kind of beer I think you could sip it. You could drink this over a period of 45 minutes to an hour, I think. Yeah. I while playing cards with people, while right. talking, while having yes. a conversation. Because mm -hmm. um, the tartness forces you to sort of slow down your drinking to some extent. It does. Um, while I IPAs, is, I can damn near drink them like water these days. Sometimes Pretty I much. just don't even... I get, the first sip, I'll talk about the taste of an IPA, and then I'll just sort of forget it. Like, kind of, it's kind of weird. Yep. No, I don't... You know, we have so many of them, though. That, that, that's... Yeah. It's part of the course. Like, that's you know, fair. You, you eat filet mignon all the time. You're not overwhelmed by the flavor anymore, right? So, yeah. you know, it's just one of those things. I... Yeah, I would definitely not go back and get another one of these. But, I think this is great. Um, Honestly, I'm going to untap this in about four and a half. I think it's great. Wow. That's good. I think it's really good. It's good. It, like I say, it's it is as advertised. I will just say that. So yeah, the idea right. of a cucumber sour sounds good to you. This is it. This and it's and it is well done. It's well balanced. It's, it's got good flavors. You get the sour, but it's not like you said overpowering. You get the cucumber. It is very refreshing. It does tell you to jingle in six months of the canning date, and then, um, as far as I can tell, it literally neglects to put the canning date on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that's not good. So, there's a, that's a thing. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one. Um, 2, uh, 10, 02, 20? So, October. Fuck. It's over 60 second. days? That's How are selling you this? But it, says, but it says six months. Oh, it does say Sour. six months? You said drink within six months. Oh, you're so right. It's only two months, months so it's two old. Months well, three, three months old. About three months old. Yeah. Um, you can pick this up for you. You can pick this up now. Definitely in Pleasanton. I would assume at Berkeley and Daly City as well. Yeah. If uh, this sounds like your jam, I think it's probably worth a trip. They got a bunch of other good beers too. They've got. They um, do. What the first, the first Gilman beer I think I ever had was a. Um, it's actually one of their stouts. They have a. Um, yes. I can't remember. I think the name it's of like it, a, but... I want to say it's like a vanilla stout, but it was pretty good. I think. I, that I was agree. the first one I, I got there. Their IPAs are solid. Yep. Um, they the make good beer. Nice. They make good um, beer. Hopefully one day we'll be able to go back there and. 
hang out. Yeah, I can't wait to see that Pleasanton facility on the inside. And the best part about where it's at is you you have no lack of other things that you could do. You're not yep. stuck with, you yep. know, there's one food truck. No, there's like six places to go and eat yep. around there, a couple of different places ice you could stop and get beer. Of stuff. I, yeah, ice cream, coffee shops, uh, uh, the dairy where you can oh, yeah, get dairy, metal where you can get the soft serve. Welcome Sierra. Hi Sierra. So uh you know I can't wait to get back to somewhat normal and be able to go and visit it because it looks beautiful. Yeah I agree. So I'm gonna we're, let's wrap this one up by yep. so um you know my review is I really like it. Shane thinks it's good. Uh, it's okay. Just it's not fine. my thing. No. So hey I, if it's your jam I recommend it. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs>